हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द शेफ सोमजी सिंह चैनल टुडे वीडियो इज अबाउट बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग रॉ मीट जनरली यू हैव हर्ड इन माय वीडियोस लाइक द एग्जामिनर आस्क क्वेश्चन हाउ डू यू हैंडल रॉ मीट और हाउ डू यू मेंटेन हाइजीन प्रैक्टिसेस इन द किचन और हाउ डू यू स्टॉप क्रॉस कंटामिनेशन सो दिस ऑल वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन दै बट वेन इट द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डू यू हैंडल रॉ मीट so what precautions do you need to take or what main things you have to keep in uh, uh keep in your mind so i'll discuss with you here so if you will discuss here so the best practices for preparing raw meat right so what we need to do is always if you can only catch these points then it's really really good for you to you can easily explain to the uh, assessor always chill meat properly so this is the first requirement if you handling the raw meat always they make sure they are right temperature when you receive the deliveries and secondly there is a wash your hands when you handle the raw meat right if you freezing the food it has to be minus 18 degree or if you are putting in a fridge that is 0 to 5 degree right so it usually say minus 15 degree on the all the books but on the cookery books we usually say minus 18 degree so i reckon whenever you see any frozen food it has to be minus 18 degree so wash your hands before beginning to cook after handling raw meat after handling utensils used or raw meat after cleaning the counter where you place raw meat and before placing food on the plates and after you have finished cooking so these also things also like when these wash your hand practices also gets in hygiene practices like when you say how do you maintain hygiene practices or how do you stop cross contamination or prevent cross contamination so these can be easily said and do not cross contaminate that also you can mention always cook meat thoroughly it means the temperature of the meat has to be appropriate if you will not cook meat on the right temperature then what will happen it will contaminate food or it will become as a poisonous so you have to be very careful and uh, many of them they don't know uh, the many of the examiners they ask uh, in when you cook food or when you say it, a danger zone between 2 to uh, between 5 to 60 uh, temperature it becomes as a danger zone in that temperature bacteria develops a lot so what happens in that temperature in that temperature bacteria's growth in a unlimited quantity or they are maximum quantity they growth and uh, there is a one bacteria develops in the food we can't see them obviously because the temperature is there so they always develop in the meat so mostly in the chicken there is a one bacteria we call it salmonella so you have to be careful if any assessor ask you uh, which bacteria develops in danger zone or in the meat so then you can say it is a salmonella bacteria which develops in the chicken and also there is a e coli which develops in the dairy so these two bacteria there's so many bacteria but these two main bacteria which you always talk about in the commercial cookery so you have to be very familiar if you like this video please hit a like and uh, many of them watch videos but i don't know they why they don't like it or uh, they if you find this is helpful for you and uh, it is a uh, uh, good information for you please uh, like it and also you can write it in the comment like what did you learn in this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care of yourself bye bye thank you